Hello everyone, I'm Matthias Mouse. Um, hello. <coughs> it's a farming session time. Uh, for a good while we're probably gonna be here just to farm. Uh, but I, I just want my water shield. And probably gonna get some Titanite shards along the way. So that'll all be really good for what we're gonna be doing in the future. So, um, I'm trying to figure out if I would really want to use the Zoey as my main weapon or something else entirely. Uh, right now, I'm really... Uh, it's it's different, but I, I like it. Um, it feels really... Um, it just feels really interesting to use. Um, being someone who's been using, like, just, like, great swords all the time instead of, like, ultra great swords, um, I just think this will be an interesting experience. Uh, before I even did... Or before I even went forward with the Murakumo build, what I did was I just went with a. Uh, I, I wanted to go with the Demon Great Machete uh, build. But um, maybe I'll do it this time. Because uh, it just seems extremely fun. I wonder how this stuff got destroyed. Oh well. Because I don't remember coming back through here. <laughs> I don't remember, like, <laughs> how to play this darn game. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, we're probably just gonna be farming here. It's gonna be, like, a chill episode. Uh, I'm just probably gonna do this before I head off to work. So, well, you know. Lucky. Anyway. So, yeah. Um, I just wanna talk about more random topics for today. Like, uh, I don't know, um, cosmetic DLC, I suppose. Um, so like, I play a lot of fighting games, and most fighting games are pretty, like, okay, um, like, when it comes to customizing your characters, and usually it falls under, like, the 3D fighters. You know, you know, usually the Namco stuff, like, you know, Tekken, Soul Calibur, stuff like that. Uh, those type of games, like, you don't even need, like, DLC. Because the stuff they give you right from the get-go, it'll, so it'll be more than enough, usually. But, um, there's some other, um, there's some other, like, little things like that. It's kind of, like, there's, like, specific... Uh, exceptions to that, um, I guess one of the more infamous examples is, like, just the pricing, I guess. Well, I can't really say that. I guess, like, Namco X, or, I was about to say Namco X Capcom, but that really wouldn't make sense. I was thinking Tekken, like, Cross, tech, Street Fighter Cross Tekken, that's what it was. Ugh, so dumb. That game has a lot of DLC. Um, you have, like, the... I guess the infamous DLCs where, you know, it's like, uh, I'm trying to figure out, like, should I roll with the water gun? Yeah. Um, I'm just going to upgrade my knight set. Might as well purchase, like, uh, where I get those. Like, you know, you have the costumes, but, uh, well, the characters are really the ones you're, like, you know, because, like, I think it's, like, 20 bucks for, like, what, 14 characters that are, like, already on the disc. But, like, there's also, like, um, costumes, and the costumes, I mean, like, if you want the costumes, then it's fine, but, like, if you look at it, it's, like, these costumes are, like, just, you get two different sets of costumes, I think each character and you get like a plethora of like these color palettes which are free thankfully um i think they did that like as a thing as a thing to make people calm down at the fact that they do have like dlc on the disc like character dlc or something so like you know you have some stuff like that um the example like the, i guess what i just want to say is i basically spent like 30 dollars last night willingly uh, i might add to um 
to have like unlock all the character costumes for a game called Virtual Fighter 5 Final Showdown. Um, there, there's a few things I'm a little confused at, but that I would like to like kind of address or ask. Uh, I guess to myself, considering how I'm pretty sure none. Well, I don't know. I'll, I'll, maybe I'll be surprised. But like, you know, if you played previous Virtual Fighters, I think even like previous versions of Five, they had that cool little, you know, system similar to like Tekken Five and Six, where it's like if you fight, like even if you fight like CPUs and stuff, you can literally. Um, continuously get items for characters, more likely the characters you use. And you can also buy some stuff, like you can also buy like items for your characters as well. So Virtual Fighter 5 Show Final Showdown comes around and it's like we're not going to give you any of that. You're just gonna get like this bare bones I guess I guess you could call it single player experience. I mean it's kinda weird saying that because you really don't usually play single player games for like, or you don't play like fighting games for their single player experience, unless it's like story mode or something. But okay, like the reason why I like I'm talking about this is, I'm just saying like that's what made Tekken Tag to Tekken Six, like you know, maybe even like that's what made like the old previous virtual fighters like exciting and addicting to me. Like, I would literally just play single player all day, you know, and not like mindlessly going through it, like, I would like to, I don't know, like, the way I see it is, yeah, practicing against real people is good, I totally, wholly recommend that than, like, practicing offline, but, like, if I'm trying to get my cosmetic shit on offline, then I might as well try to practice random combos that I will use online, like, that's how I, like, see it. So, um, yeah, like that's honestly how I feel. Like, I'm really wondering why they didn't do that. I think what happened, I think to me, um, Final Showdown for the consoles at least is supposed to be like a big online like thing. Um, yeah, like that's why training mode is so in depth. Like, that's why you can see the crane data, you know, and, you know, shit like that. Because, like, you're basically trying to go online to, you know, fight stuff. Uh, it has a pretty decent quality, you know. But, um, being the person I am, though, like, my characters... I don't know, maybe... It, it's pretty bad. It's a bad habit of mine. It's like, uh... In, in any game in general, when there's cosmetic shit like on sale, like, you know, especially in free-to-play MMOs, keep in mind they have to look good. But like, I'll be honest, I I I can't like resist it that well. Um, cosmetic, you know, like shop items and mostly clothes-related, hair, especially hair-related. I don't know why. It's just like. Every time you play a game, the default kit you have for hair is severely limited, and I despise that. I don't have time to check, but yeah, it's like I don't know. I'm a terrible like. Um, I'm not really the best person when it comes to like buying DLC like that. Um, I I do have a certain line I won't cross. Um, usually when it comes to, well, these are not responding, usually when it comes to colors or something, I, I tend to, uh, not really, like, colors are colors. Like, I'm not really going to go for colors like that. Especially, like, I don't know, like, a good example is Blaze Blue. Blaze Blue, that you can unlock your second set of colors, like, using the in-game currency you get as you fight them. That's really cool. Uh, this is Extend, I'm pretty sure. And, like, you know, stuff like that. Final Showdown, you, there's no mode that's like, you know, um, I don't even know what to call it. 
Uh, I'm gonna call it Ghost Battle. I'm gonna take it out of like Tekken Tag 2's, uh, like, as an example. They don't have Ghost Battle, where it's like you fight, like, these fake, uh, opponents that are decked out in, like, custom gear. It's like to simulate, like, you know, I don't know what's, it's like to simulate, like, you know, actually being at an arcade fighting people constantly. But, you know, they're CPU, so, you know, you don't And you're raising, like, your rank for your character. Like, um, sixth Dawn, Seventh Dawn, Fourth Kiyu, you know, shit like that. Um, I think, yeah, virtual, every, a lot of previous versions of Virtual Fighter had that, you know. But, um, this one doesn't. And I think it's, like, like I said, it's just to encourage players to go online and stuff. But like, yeah, I all the costume packs were like thirty dollars, or like the two costume packs total was like thirty dollars. So, um, like, if I just redesign a character to how I want them to look, and this doesn't really apply to just girls, it also applies to any male character I play in a 3D game. I tend to dress girls like pretty, but I tend to dress the guys all like suits and you know shit like that. <laughs> but um. I know, I, I just have to like, make them, make them how I would like them to look, uh, instead of like, you know, having to look at them like in a way that I don't really like them, um, <laughs> like, I don't know, uh, I don't know, I don't use it like as, okay, maybe I do, but like, I tend to not like, be too overly like like when I make a custom female character, I tend to oh, another body shield, Jesus. Uh, I tend to make them like not in tuned to like a fetish of sorts. I just want them to look at, like like a style, I guess, and that style happens to like look a little. <laughs> it look a little slutty, I guess. Uh huh. I guess I could openly admit to that one. Oh yeah, like the existence of DLC like that, I'm fine with it. It's just that it sucks when you have to justify it for yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's cool because I could like hit right through. Okay, I think we have like what two shards. I want to get my Zoi. To like level five, I believe, and then continue on. Um, I might do the forest, but I don't know. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the forest without Beatrice. So I would like to at least get a little more like damage before I start doing that. Because fighting movement butterfly by myself, um, it's kind of it's bo it's pretty boring without like you know having Beatrice to back you up with spells. So I'm just gonna try to. Hopefully, like, get enough power to where that wouldn't be a problem. And getting all the blacksmith items is also a good plus. Like, uh, like... I'm gonna say, like, if you... If you want to get any piece of DLC, cosmetic or otherwise, finding a way to justify it makes you feel a lot more comfortable in the long run. Um, I, I have to say, I kind of overdid it this week, in terms of spending. I, I spent a lot on, um, I don't know, being too lazy to cook, for example, that kind of sucks. Um, so I got takeout for like a good $20, $24 I think. And then I bought Arcana Heart, which is cool, um, fighting game community at my college, they, they played it, surprisingly, everybody was... I mean, it was, they were pretty okay with it. Um, what else? Virtual Fighter 5. Hells yeah. I will literally give my friends time to create their custom characters so we can get some fun, cool like, character shit on the screen. You know? Or just to make uh, viewers randomly go like, what? You know. Because we got a lot of spectators sometimes. Um, Virtual Fighter is like, I'm sorry, but Virtual Fighter is like the hype of shit. Um, some, uh, a good chunk of our fighting game community at like college, they, they're not much of they're they're not really fans of the 3D fighters, you know. But um, we have a lot. We have a little more uh, 
fans when it comes to Virtual Fighter, just because it's 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 a tad different, like not a tad different. It's different from like you know the Tekken and shit. And like I've always played Tekken in Dead or Alive and shit. Well, not Dead or Alive that much, but I play Tekken most of the time. Virtual Fighter is a very very fun like different game to play. Like honestly, God, we're getting all the Balder swag. I might do like a Dex poke build eventually. I can never parry rapiers. Oh well. But um, yeah, it's it's fun. I I like Virtual Fighter. It's pretty good. Um, the fact that Sega makes it too. It's a surprisingly good Sega product. Not to say every Sega product is bad. I think. I'm trying to think. Binary Domain wasn't that bad. It had had decent ideas to say the least. But um Yeah. Stuff like that. It's a little uh, I don't know. Well, on to a more different subject instead of me just rambling on about how DLCs and like DLCs kind of like a make what you will type situation. And sometimes you can just you can't like help it. Uh, bullet hell. That shit is eh, It's fun. Not a lot of people can really get into it because they get intimidated. But you know, if you can like. If you could, if you could like put your toe in the water and like play a little, and then you get used to it, that's when the fun really starts. Uh, it's funny because the first Toho game I started was with Toho Eight, um, just because of the music. But um, yeah, I think I've told this story before, but you know. Uh, let's see. So what we're going to do is we're going to buff, you know, my weapon first, and then buff the armor, and then we're gonna go. Um, back to the undead merchant in the parish because if I believe correctly he has a shield that has quite a bit of magic resistance actually uh, there might be um, actually I think the blacksmith might sell it as well and we got blood stain here what happened here Damn. Anyway. Oh, thank you. Um, it's it's cool. I mean, stuff like uh, I'm trying to think. Like, it's sad. I'm trying to think of every like the only bullet hell shooter I've legitimately played is Toho. Um, but believe me when I say this, if Cave somehow releases Dodon Pachi, like the series in general in America, like. Even if it's on Xbox, which is what most of their uh, arcade and console ports have been on, I would literally play my Xbox 360 again just to play, you know, some good old Dodon Pachi or something. Because, like, seriously, that it's, I, like that. It's just awesome. I I like Don. I've never played Dodon Pachi, but I like the game as a whole, like the series, because it's just really interesting. Um, I'm thinking of Diojo and Psy Diojo, uh, which uh, I'm trying to think. Psy Diojo was, I think it was the game before. That Psy Diojo is the latest game, and it has like, it's brighter. It's a lot brighter. Like I, what I'm talking about is Dodon Pachi as a whole is a pretty dark series. Like by the time you finish, like everything you're doing in the game, like. You kind of like. I think what happens usually is like you come to realize the fighting in general is futile um, because there's a lot of like dark shit that happens. Like I think in the first Donut Pachi, the the robots are like the aliens you're fighting. They're not really aliens. It's just like other pilots like trying to in this assignment to make like the perfect like fighter, I guess, like combat. Flyer. Like, cause it, oh jeez, it's loud. 
So if I go, oh yeah, it's an airplane. Airplanes passing by. It's like it's really dark shit because what happens is like the colonel like tells you this, and then he sends you through loop two of the game, hope, wishing for you to die. And it's like it sucks. Like it's pretty dumb. And like I think like priest like I think I'm trying to think. I think it's called Dai Fukatsu or something. I think that's like the third or fourth game. Um, that one is like that one gets even worse because like you have like these cute uh, little like girls and they're kind of like and like they're kind of like the like androids like the AI of your ship in a way. It's in physical form, I believe. Um, I think for a better visualization, think of like if you ever watch Big O. And you watch the later episodes of season two. I know it's season two; it's not as good. But if you watch that, and you see, you remember like Dorothy being hooked up to like the big O on the inside and shit. Like that's a good example of what I'm talking about. So what happens is you go through the game like like normal, and then by the time you finish the game, like the uh, the androids they they get pretty broken by the end of the game. So like you know different. Uh, and you can select, like, I think it's like, there's four different types, there's either three or four, uh, like, androids you can select from, and each one gives you different types of shot patterns and stuff like that, um, so what happens is they kind of break, and I think, like, it kind of ranges from one killing the pilot, like, <clears throat> they were working with, and then, like, other ones are, like, re like, happier-ish endings. Like, I think one of them loses their physical body, but like the like their AI form still persists, or something like that, and they reunite with the pilot. I don't know, but yeah, go to Anpachi's one. Uh, the only cave shooter I've ever played, like, was fucking Death Smiles, which was like honestly the only cave shooter they like released here. I mean, you can't really blame them, but. I don't know, I thought Death Smiles was popular, and then when they released Death Smiles 2, I was kinda hyped, but then I realized the entire game was just like, a console port, an expensive one at that. <laughs> it wasn't really, it, like, I kinda, I got a little sad with that. It wasn't even translated either. I don't know. I think they kinda jumped the gun, maybe, I don't know. I remember specifically that I was so hyped for the game, back when it was like almost my 18th birthday, or 17th birthday. It was fucking awesome because like they had a limited edition set and it came in a rectangular box. It had an Xbox 360 faceplate and it also had like the soundtrack and shit. It was really cool. See, like I was gonna try to kick him and I swear if I attacked too soon I was gonna like get parried. But like, you know, it was it was fun because what would happen was is that I got the faceplate and the soundtrack. And I felt pretty cool because, like, I had the box. Um, Axie's Games, the guys who published, you know, Blaze Blue. Um, what? Seven, seven days, seven months, seven doors, something like that? Seven, seven, seven. Or is it eight? I can't remember. It was, it was a cool visual novel game. And Virtue's Last Reward, or something like that. Uh, and the Agarus games, for better or for worse. Uh, yeah, they, they, when they make special editions, they make special editions. And I really love them. Especially when most of the special editions are like literally, um, <laughs> they're literally like almost the same price as like, you know, the regular editions and stuff. So, like, it's really cool. Alright, let's see how much souls it costs to get like that small warrior shield. <sighs> uh, reinforce uh, purchase item. Uh, that's funny. Large leather shield has a lot of. Well, it doesn't really have a lot of anything. Alright, it's uh, we, we are gonna go into the forest for a little while, just to get the wolf ring. This nigga's trying to kill the Titanite demon with a halberd. Just 
Trying to figure out. Like, I wonder if there's actually anything hidden back here. No? Okay. Thanks. Um, one side of me likes this horse. Another part of me loathes this horse. Just because, like, you're in here in human form and you haven't cleared the boss yet. And that shit is massively... That, that shit's so paranoia. Like, it's bad. Um, I'm wondering if I'm actually strong enough to actually kill the Black Knight with the Halberd. Where I can get the green shield. I'm not too sure. Um, let's get to the first bonfire in here. And then we'll go from there. Um, I at least want to get the Titan Knight um, Lizard before I move on. No, no, no. Alright, good. Um, let's see. Like, special editions are also a thing. Like, you can make a right special edition, or like a wrong. Well, Special editions in general are kind of like. I honestly think that most super like special editions are a little like overkill. Um, there's only like a like a very like certain amount of special editions that I would legitimately like be okay with. Um, let's see, ones that I'm not okay with. So that that gives you like useless like, physical stuff. Uh, like, I don't know. Because if I say that, it's like, you know, you know, like the first record of Agoras, really naughty edition one, where you get that big mouse pad and the, uh, you guys are actually, I'm wondering, yeah, no. Uh, you know, where you can get, like, the mouse, the blue mouse pad and stuff. Like, there's that. But, like, I'm trying to wonder, um, special editions that are, like, okay. Uh, let's see, like, the blaze blue one, you get, like, a calendar, and, like, you know, stuff like that. And, um, Trying to think of other ones. Yeah. I'm, I'm fairly sure I can. Cool. Oh my god. That was. That kind of scared me, honestly. I didn't think he'd follow me like that. But he, he's dead. Yeah, you can also enter in the forest this way. It's pretty cool. I like doing it. Er, I just figured out that you can do it, so I'm doing it now. You know, since I'm gonna be back here, I'll spare- Oh, no, I need your souls. I like that follow-up strike, I think. Ooh, I think the trees were able to attack you, but like in this version, I kinda just stand there and take it. <laughs> okay, I think the biggest problem would be finding the stone giants um, with this really slow weapon, but we'll see. <sighs> yeah, I I, per I like Limited Editions, but like there's only there's only so much I could like go for. Um I'm kinda glad I got the fire emblem. Uh 3DS, because like what happened was I think the art book that came with the normal Fire Emblem, like special edition, like physical one, that one didn't really have a. Uh, the art book wasn't really that good. Oh, that's another thing, like art books. I, I love art books. In fact, like, um, I don't know which companies, like, oh, oh man. Oh, cool, thank you. Oh my god, like. Physics engine is just like popping off. Right now. I'm trying to remember like a crazy game that like did that the worst. I think like I think when you're lagging in Vindictus, oh, that Source Engine the physics in that game is go nuts. My left leg is numb. It is the worst. I like cross my legs or I have one leg over the other whenever I like play games sometimes. Oh fuck. Oh no. Okay, well, I'm glad that can be settled relatively quickly. So it says, like, I can't roll? Yeah, okay, that's the whole point of that. Please die. Oh no, you didn't die. Well, hopefully this will kill you. Alright. 
I believe that the first hit was a two-hand strong attack, which is why that killed him, or that almost killed him. We're just gonna get the wolf ring, and then we're gonna stop by the campfire, and then we're gonna get out of here. So, you know, shit like that. <sighs> shit, I forgot what I was talking about. Um. <laughs> Uh, certain stuff like that RPGs like have, they're, they're particularly enjoyable, but other stuff kind of just gets you really, you get tired of it. <laughs> Alright, we got the full three. I wonder who left it there in the first place, honestly. A legend success fatal fateful beauty breaks the remove. Another nice wish of rings and four nights of wind. Right. Okay, with our souls and everything. Basically have what we need. Uh, I'm gonna like unhook everything. Mostly to run to catch up to the Titanite Lizard. Okay, I was like, that can't... I'm really considering doing a Golden Sun playthrough, like, once, like, I, uh, finish out Blast Remnant and stuff. My friend, um, actually found, like, he actually got, like, the ISO and, you know, translated version of Nanko X Capcom, and considering how my computer can probably run that shit, I, and hopefully record it, I don't know, I, like, I'm really hyped to try to play it. I'd honestly like try to do some work and get it working for the PS2, like a physical one. But the problem is, is that um, I don't have like any means of recording consoles, which kind of sucks. But you know what? What can you do? Really, what can you do? Oh my god! Okay, that's a horizontal swing. So I gotta remember that's a fucking horizontal swing. What's my like? I'm trying to think. Alright, I should be using that attack. Okay, I was just wondering if it's the same. Um, right. Uh, it's, it'll respawn, I think, so we'll just come back here at a later time and pick him up. But, um, actually, thank you. Let's well, just bring down here and my will just like, casually do some stuff here. What do you say, Mr. Message? Be wary of shortcut. Oh, poop. Let me get up here. I believe this is the hunter. What's that? Yeah, I might actually use that set like when I make a dex build, really, because it's so plain looking. Um, I don't know, I like it. I don't want to use the ninja set. I feel like everybody uses the ninja set. <laughs> Leather armor is cool looking, or to me at least. Um, Wanderer set is the best set for obvious reasons. Alright, we gotta fight a Dark Halberd. Uh, Black Knight. Wow, oh, he did that jumping attack. Damn. Okay, I don't know how to carry that, so I'm not going to. Get his ass this way though. Gonna drink. Gonna get almost stabbed. Damn. Damn. Alright. I think that's the death blow. Yes, it is. And we got the helper. Awesome. This is the. Oh, wait, let me. This shield's good, because, uh,. I can just like switch to it when I need to get the good stamina regeneration. Black Knight Halberd, it's a really this weapon's a really good weapon. Um, just because like how powerful it is and how handy it is. Um, it, it is a halberd. Um quality weapon in a way. Mostly because like it doesn't really have good scaling for either stat, but you know. This is cool because um it doesn't block everything fully, 
but it protects you against the elements a little better. So, um, also it has that cool passive, which allows you to regenerate stamina faster. So, Mulder Swags, we're going to read this. Excellent. Or those types of attacks. Have I exceeded my weight limit? I gotta check. No, I haven't. In fact, my weight limit's actually pretty good, considering how I'm wearing the, uh, ring of favor. Like this. This elevator takes us to the Valley of the Drakes. And it's pretty bad. Let's see, putting points in strength, it'll literally give me that much amount of power. Like, that's, that's nuts. But right now, let's get our endurance up. It's probably a good idea to get my endurance up in anything. Um, okay, so we have the plus 5 Zwei on that, and we are not really touching anything else until later on. Um, because, uh, honestly, this would be all I will probably be using just to kind of get the whole, just to get like an idea of how like great sword fighting is. There's loud cars outside. Yeah, that shit was fucking heavy. Alright. Alright, where am I going? Can I get the Titanite Lizard this way? And look how fast your stamina charges, it's really cool. When you're not wearing stuff, I believe equipment burden also affects your stamina. Which, I mean, it should, honestly. Oh, I guess the Titanite really doesn't spawn. That's a shame. I'll probably come back here, like, eventually. <laughs> I'm mad I kinda missed it, though. It's cause, like, I didn't have, like... I thought the sweep would take care of it, but obviously it didn't. It kinda just floated over its head. But, whatever. That's at least... We'll, we'll at least go... Uh, open the door... To where Capra is. And then when we do that, we'll probably end it there. So... We're just gonna speedrun... As a skelly. What really sucks is, is that like, I'm gonna have to go human form in the depths just because I want to fight uh, Kirk. But uh, eh, what can you do? I forgot I need souls for um getting the uh that one set. <laughs> We're gonna rest here just because I die for some terrible reason, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, but I, I can't wait till like Project X Zone comes out because uh, they confirmed that they're gonna bring it to America with the Japanese audio intact. So that's all good. All right, that attack is just brutal. I love that attack. It's so awesome. Like, look at that. It has to suck. And it's like, oh, I'm trying to move, but I can't. Okay, so like, um... I'm trying to figure out like what other games there should be that I can play. I don't know. Um... I've I always been trying to think of like, this idea where I play Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition 2012, blah 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 blah. Like, online. Like, on my PC and record it. Like, so many things can go wrong, and like, I'm not really that good at it right now, so, you know, I'll... Some other time, I'm sure. I'm wondering, like, how much does the Wolf of the Green give you in the first place? Mad, like, I'm mad how he like literally got away with that. There you go. 
Thanks for the Balder armor. I don't know, like, the Balder set's kind of... Well, I don't really like it that much. I mean, like, it has that cool cape. If it was restored in some way, then I might use it. I might consider using it. But unfortunately, it is not restored like that. And my equipment load is light enough to wear, like, the gloves. So, you know, it's fine. <sighs> Just a relaxing day of Dark Souls before work, and I leave for work like this than not. <laughs> well, it's like more than 30 minutes plus than not, which is fine. I need money. I need money after my spending adventures this week, so. And I had a day off, um, on, I'm trying to figure out what, what I had a day off. I had a day off on, uh, how much souls do I have after that? Damn, yeah, that's not a lot. I have to keep on holding these. Like, I had a day off on Monday because like, my eyes just were going nuts. So, that's cool. I actually wanted it today anyway because fucking people don't know how to schedule on me, right? Or, they don't know how to hire. Let's say, let's say that. Because these guys are so dumb where I work. Because like, like... I guess it's because, like, you have to follow a certain, like, scheduling thing. But then, like, people get mad at us because they're like, we need to reduce your hours because, honestly, uh, you guys are getting too many hours and we can use those hours elsewhere. And I'm like, well, if that's true, why haven't my schedule, why hasn't my schedule been fitted to that? And, I don't know. And, like, I'm, I'm trying to keep my cool when it comes to, like, imminent school semester being over and I'm really not right now I I'm like so fucking stressed right now and like it's really getting to me like I'm just probably gonna talk about it as we do this final thing just to get it like just to make myself calm down again because right now oh god I think my heart rate is accelerated just because like I'm thinking about it right now but like real real talk it's like I'm not doing that well out of the three classes I'm taking as a part-timer student because I wanted to maintain a job while at least going to school this year. Um, my consolation right now is the fact that I'm doing really well in my writing class and I'm doing pretty well in my physical uh, health class, personal fitness class, I don't know what it is, but like the other class, econ, like I'm getting my ass fucking kicked in econ and What's worse is, I love how, you know, like, if you studied, you studied and you feel good about it, but what happens if you studied and you do shitty? Like, shittier than on the one that you didn't study for? Like, that's stupid. And, like, you know, it's the, it's the typical, like, lecture class where it's like, um... The first hall. It's the typical lecture class where you end up, like, uh... You know, you only have like four tests, and you have to do those tests. Because uh, like, there's nothing else to do. You just go to the lecture, take notes, and that's it. And then you take a test. And then like, you know, for the lectures I actually stayed in, and like, I stayed in like six of the four of the six lectures and shit. I'm doing it again too. Uh, I don't know. It's like. My, my suggestion to you guys is that if you ever get that urge to just skip class when you know you're not doing well, just for like some fleeting, um, for some more moments with your friends and shit, I'm pretty sure your, your friends will wait for you. Like, if you. like my friends wait for me most of the time, kinda. Most of the time they're d busy doing other shit, like eating, <laughs> by the time like my class comes around. So like, you can try to like, you know lame it out, I guess, and, you know, just not go to class, just because you just want to stay behind and, like, do nothing, but, like, that'll make you feel like shit, and honestly, I have this belief where if you skip and you feel like shit, what's the point, um, like, what's the point of fucking, like, you know, skipping if you feel like shit? 
I'm trying to figure out East West Shield. Well, shields that offer 100%. Uh, the shield inherits their properties because the trees are crazy. So. Thank you, Kai. Yeah, like, take it from me. It's not the best idea to, like, skip because, like, you'll fucking feel like shit if you skip. And, like, you're not accomplishing anything for skipping. And I try to tell myself this, but old habits, they, they die pretty, they don't die out. You know, they don't die out at all. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck I was doing. Oh yeah, I was gonna make a speed run to the next area. But um, like yeah, it's, it's shitty. I'm mad that I didn't hit anyone in that entire exchange, thank you. I'm mad that hit me. I'm mad that auto track, actually. That's what I meant to say. But, um, yeah. Please don't skip. Do yourself a favor and go to class. And, like, you know, people are like, three weeks left, four weeks left. And I'm like, shut the fuck up. Stop it. Stop it. Quit saying that. I know you guys are having a jolly good old time, you know, actually doing well in classes. But for someone like me who doesn't do that well in classes, I'm like I'm freaking out right now. Like right now, I'm trying to play Dark Souls. I'm trying to have a leisurely good time, and already I'm feeling like shit because like I'm honestly not doing that well in my classes or one class. Like it's so oh god. Like I'm trying to like chill out, but you see, like once I get like this, it's hard for me to like calm down. Oh shit, I got work too. Ugh. And after like earlier I was like, oh I got work, this isn't so bad after all. Now I'm fucking freaking out and shit. Just because like ugh, I don't know. It's dumb. Well, I got this ring, that's cool. Ah, uh, blue tier stone ring increases your defense by a decent amount when you're about to die. Um, red tier stone ring inversely just increases your attack when you're about to die. But it increases it by like a crazy ass amount. So it's really cool because you can make like a hyper kill build because like, that's what you can do with the tools, with tools like that. So yeah, that that's cool. Anyway, I just want um my like just 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 read over your notes and shit. Like that's the only thing you can do, honestly. You can't really do anything else. Go to class. You go to class. That's fine and dandy, you get notes. You take your notes. In that type of class, you're gonna have to have a fucking friend in that class, which I do not. I don't know any of those fuckers in my class, honestly, and I really don't care for them. But, like, the fact of the matter is, you need to take notes. You need to take notes, and you need to go to class, you need to make sure you understand everything, and blah blah blah. Like, I know this sounds like common sense, and, like, I have this thing where I gotta tell myself this, so I can, like, you know, I don't know, have like this better understanding of why I need to go to class and shit like that. Like I need to physically tell myself this so I can like, not exactly feel better, but you know, just to give myself like light to the situation. Well, that's open. So, with that, I'm probably going to call it here. So, I, I, I'm i sorry, I didn't mean to like rant about school like that, but I don't know, it kind of gets to me after a while. Anyway. I'm gonna end this, put 25 points in strength, and we'll leave it here. Anyway, this is Matthew's Mouse. Thanks for watching.